Good morning. How do you know it's morning? They might be watching at night. Ignore him. Welcome to our new show, The Wacky World of Music. Wacky, 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 wacky. Uh, ignore that too. I'll be your host as we explore the wacky world of music. I really wish it wouldn't do that. My name is Dr. W. You're not a doctor. Do you mind? Hey, we didn't hire you to be serious. You're the wacky musician. Act like it. You didn't hire me at all. This is my show. The audience is waiting. Just get on with it. Okay, fine. I'm the wacky musician. And today we're going to look at... Wacky Ways to Play the Clarinet. To help us out, we have our special guest, clarinetist J.K. Auberg. Thank you. It's great to be here. He looks just like you. No, I don't see the resemblance. Me neither. So tell us, J.K. Auberg, what wacky things are you going to show us on the clarinet today? I don't know. Why don't we ask the kids? What's a clarinet? It's a girl named Claire who has a website. Huh? Well, actually, it's a musical instrument played by a famous cartoon character who lives under the sea with another famous cartoon character who lives under the sea and wears square pants. I know that show. I watch it every day. But what would a clarinet sound like underwater? Let's find out. I don't think so. I'm not going to destroy my clarinet just so you can hear what an instrument sounds like underwater. Aww. Okay, tell you what. I'm not going to destroy this instrument. But this bamboo flute is really cheap, doesn't cost much at all. So we can destroy this one. Yay! And here he goes, playing a bamboo flute underwater. That's the bamboo flute underwater. What else can you do with a clarinet? Butterfly. Uh, okay, um, how about we do some pitch bending? Huh? In order to drop a pitch, a clarinet player needs to loosen his lips and drop his jaw down in order to make some fun sounds. Add reverb to make it even better. What's reverb? I once had a hula hoop and I bent it. It doesn't work anymore. Bending. Good for pitches. Bad for hula hoops. How does the clarinet work? Good question. You know, I think it must be magic. No, no, no. It's not magic. You just take this little magical stick of wood here called a reed. It's made out of bamboo. Koalas eat bamboo. And then I put it in my mouth. Ew, Ew. yuck. You eat bamboo? Are you a koala? And then we put it on the mouthpiece. This is the mouthpiece here. And we make noise. That's loud. The reed here, the wood stick, vibrates back and forth really fast when I blow across it. And that's what makes the sound happen. So it is magic. Uh, no. But it is fun. You make funny noises. Cartoons have funny noises. Yeah, I want to see a cartoon. Show us a cartoon. Uh, I don't have a cartoon. But I do. Do you kids know Norman? No. Norman's my neighbor. He plays with animals all day long. No, no, no. Not Dr. Norman the veterinarian. Norman the sea slug. The what? Just watch. Well, look what I would do when I was swimming along in the ocean, and look what I found. I think it's a clarinet. A clarinet is something that you use to make music. Music can be fun. I'm going to think I'm going to try to practice and play it so I can be in a jazz band. Oh, wait. I can't do that because I'm a sea slug and I live underwater. Anyways, what else can we do with a clarinet? Play it like a trumpet. What? No. Actually, yes I can. Yay! 
How about doing a Gershwin slider? Sasmo burger. No silly, they're chicken sliders. I got stuck on the water slide yesterday. The Gershwin slide, not really slider, Gershwin slide, is a fun thing we can do on the clarinet. It comes from a piece by Gershwin, who was a person, who was a composer. And a composer is a person who writes music. And in his infamous Rhapsody in Blue, Gershwin wrote a cool effect for clarinet. You talk a lot. Yeah. Well, maybe I should just show you. Yay! But wait, there's more. Uh, no, there's not. That's all for today. But I'm the Wacky Musician, and good night. I thought it was morning.